So, Do You Read Me by Rory Gallagher, one of my favorite tunes from Rory. This video lesson will focus on two live concerts which he played, the 1977 Live at Montreux gig and the 1979 Rock Goes to College concert. That's why I've divided this lesson into uh, parts A, B and C. The A part uh, will cover the, the intro that is uh, special or unique to the Rock Goes to College concert, which I've included because I thought it was really cool. So it's kind of special, right? The B part, which will cover the, the meat of the song, so the, the main intro riff, all its variations from like the, the, the live concert, which he played and all the musical lines, anyway. And, this, and a C part, which finally will explain the verse uh, and the two like bridge, uh, section so without further ado no talking let's get into that first part here's the a part let's roll the clip <laughs> intro uh, which he does before the main riff of do you read me so uh, what you're going to do is bar across the 10th fret of the a and d string and then the 12th fret of the a and d string and you're gonna play so downstroke downstroke and then a muted downstroke muted downstroke after that you're going to bar across the 10th fret of the D, G and B string and the 12th fret of the D, G and B string. So you're going to do... And then you're going to play a downstroke on the 10th fret, a downstroke on the 12th fret, and a short upstroke on the 10th fret. On that uh, chord, of course. Well, you can hear it, so... <laughs> uh, so what we've got so far is... And after that, you're going to do two downstrokes. So that's one cycle, and you do three of those. Uh, well, that was one too many, but uh, you can also always watch the video in the beginning, right? Uh, but you do three of those, and then you go uh, to a D minor 7 chord. So playing with your thumb the 10th fret of the E string. And with your uh, pointer finger, you're going to play the D, G, and B string uh, on the 10th fret. So, and then you do uh, bass chord, bass chord. Easy to explain, right? Bass chord, bass chord. Bass chord, bass chord. After the bass chord, bass chord, you're going to do muted down and up stroke. So bass chord, bass chord, chaka, down up. And then what you're going to do, I'm checking if I'm uh, recording the audio. <laughs> uh, you're going to um, bar across the, the 10th fret of the A and D string and you're going to hammer on from the 10th fret of the A string to the 12th fret of the A string. And you can get all the other strings in, like, you can get them as well. And you're going to do that. And then you're going to do, after that, you're going to do a muted downstroke. So, so what we've got so far, very slowly, uh, because it's quite confusing, right? Uh, you're going to So you're going to do play it three times, excuse me, and then the fourth time you're going to do a bass chord, bass chord, bass chord, long, right? So, and you're going to slide down because it sounds fucking cool. Uh, excuse me, uh, not, uh, it sounds great. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you're going to slide down and then you're going to play an F chord, F5, 
power chord. Not gonna explain that because it's a power chord, not gonna waste your time, so. This octave. Rory does a lot of octaves. Uh, so it's so it's really easy. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just the same shape. You take your power chords and then, well, you already guessed it. You're going to take your uh, third finger and place it on that octave. So I'm playing uh, third fret A and fifth fret G string. Um, and you're going to slide it first. Slide it three to five. And then third fret to eighth fret. To seventh fret and then three to five. You're going to hold it, and then you do, and then you do F chord, but just one time. So, and then the down up down on the on the D, on the C chord, and then you do this uh, riff. I know I played wrong, but I uh, I just kind of invented it because it sounds good. Rory plays something else in the gig, but I uh, unfortunately I it's bad audio and I don't really know what he's doing. So uh, I just played this. <laughs> uh, what I'm doing there is um, uh, so I'm hammering on from five to seven. <laughs> And then hammering on from five to seven on the D string, and then doing a uh, hammer on pull off uh, on the G string five to seven, and then landing on the seventh fret of the D string, and then again. Two times G string on the fifth fret and the hammer on again landing from five to seven again landing on the A. And then playing the G string going to seventh fret G string. So what I got so far very slow, I'm just gonna play it very slow. Maybe I just play it slowly, right? Not gonna explain everything. And then uh, doing uh, 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 double stop, double stop, right? Uh, bending up uh, on the eighth fret of the B string, and then with my pinky going to play the eighth fret of the the E string, and then playing, uh, bending this B string up while simultaneously holding with my pinky the E string on the on the eighth fret. So. And then Rory does like, uh, he does something with his hand, like he's about to knock someone out, uh, which I find quite amusing. And then the drum kicks in, and after the drum, the main intro riff starts, uh, starts which uh, we'll be playing right now. <laughs> this uh, this intro this main riff into five different segments um, so we're going to play five different segments which is the melody line uh, the melody line which plays and then after those five segments so this tiny parts then uh, there's going to be uh, uh, chords so I'm going to play the first segment <laughs> So this is the first of five segments uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm playing this uh, the seventh fret of the D string 
And then two times I'm playing this double stop. Uh, so fifth fret of the G string and sixth fret of the, excuse me, of the B string. And notice when the second time when I play this double stop that I'm bending it sli uh, up slightly. And then after that, you're going to answer it with. So it's again seven frets of the D string and two times the G string, the fifth fret of the G string. And then you're going to answer it with, which is seven frets of the A, A of the D string, hammering on five to seven on the G string. So very slowly. It's Okay, and then that's the first segment. This is the second segment. So what I'm doing there is uh, again uh, seven frets of the D string, which is an A note, uh, one time, and then you're going to play with your middle finger the sixth fret of the uh, of the B string twice, and the second time again you're going to bend it up slightly. So it's. And then answer it with. Uh, and what I'm doing there is hammering on five to seven on the D string. Then uh, playing the fifth fret of the G string, and then pulling off, uh, hammer on pull off five, uh, seven to five on the G string. After that, you're going to answer with, uh, and then seven frets with a seven fret on the D string, and then fifth fret G. So that's the first part of the seg of the second segment. And then, this is the most difficult part, I think, of the of the melody line. So it's uh, playing the seventh fret of the D string, but pulling off to the fifth fret of the D string, and sliding from fifth fret D string to third fret D string, which is uh, tricky. So, and then you're going to do a hammer on from the third fret to the fifth fret on the A string. So. All together it's And if you want to learn my picking just slow the video down because otherwise it will be way too long. Uh, that's the second segment. The third segment now is uh, this is the third segment. Uh, and what I'm doing there is uh, in this third segment is uh, so again, hammering on three to five on the A string, and then uh, playing the third fret on the D string, and then uh, pulling off on the on the fifth fret of the D to the third fret of the D. Okay, my audio is still rolling. Nice. And then landing on the fifth fret of the A. And then you're going to switch here. So after this, then on the same fret, so you're landing on the fifth fret of the A, then you're going to switch and then you're going to go uh, play the fifth fret of the D. So you're going to slide, slide fifth fret of the D string to the seventh fret of the, of the D string. And then play the fifth fret of the G string, and then after that sixth fret of the B string. So, and you can uh, bend it up slightly, like vibrato. Um, that was the third uh, third segment, right? Yes. And then uh, after the third segment, of course, comes the comes the fourth, and it's um, really the same. Uh, as a third uh, set. After that, you're going to play like you just. After that, 
we're going to play third fret of the D string and then fifth fret A to third fret A. Uh, that's the beginning of the third segment, which is also the same as the beginning of the fourth segment, but the fourth, fourth segment has a different ending. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and after the, uh, that, uh, the fifth segment comes, and I have two different uh, fifth segments. So I have fifth segment A or B, and it depends on which version you play. So if you want to uh, go with the 19... Uh, with the 1979 uh, Rocco is a college version. He plays uh, uh, he plays this uh, se uh, fifth segment. Uh, I don't have a lot of gain, so that tapping sucks, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, and then so it goes like. So third fret of the D, sliding fifth frets to seventh fret on the D, uh, then playing fifth fret to seventh fret on the G string, and then bending up on the uh, eighth fret of the B string, and then uh, double stopping on the doing a double stop on the eighth fret of the E string with your pinky. So you do, you do. So you're going down, and then again, and then you pull off on the eighth fret of the B string, landing on the seventh fret of the G. So it's bending it back up. So. And then you're going to do a tap on the uh, 16th fret, uh, right? Yeah, 16th fret of the B string. Uh, that's the first. Uh, well, that's the fifth segment, A. Let's call it A from the Rockers Gold version, 1979. Uh, but in the live version of Montreux, 1977, he does. <laughs> So after the fourth segment, he does that, and that's uh, sliding fifth to seventh fret on the D string, and then playing fifth fret of the G string, and then bending up uh, on the eighth fret of the G string, and then well, whilst you're bending up, you're going to. You're going to pull off while while simultaneously descending, so it's quite tricky. To the fifth fret, you're going to pull off to the fifth fret. And then you play seventh fret fi to fifth fret on the G string. And then you do. And then you do. So, uh, two pull offs. Uh, Seven to five on the G, and then bending up the the eighth fret of the G string, and then you do a bend bending up uh, the eighth fret of the G, and then you tap the wait what fret is that? Uh, eight the eighteenth fret of the G string. Uh, so very solid. Fret, right? <laughs> uh, and that's what he does in the other gig. Then, after that, he goes to F chord, C chord. And uh, those are those uh, chords which uh, I talked about. And what he does then, it's uh, after the C chord, is, it's he, he does muted up strokes, but I do it uh, instinctually. So, chaka chaka, and then uh, playing this D minor seven chord, a muted down stroke, and then, and then uh, so he play 
a muted down stroke and then bass and then a muted up and down stroke so and then you play bass and uh, this chord on the 12th fret so if i recap all of that uh, it's uh, muted down stroke so you play bass chord then a muted up and down stroke and then you play bass chord but but you play on the 12th fret so it's again which is was the same in the in the intro so up down so it's bass chord muted up and down stroke bass 12th fret muted up and down stroke And then uh, you do that twice, and then you go again to the F chord. And then you do that twice, and then you do uh, so you uh, up, it up, down. to an uh, A power chord. This was the B part and uh, now you will see the video of the C part which is the verse and the bridge. Okay so this is the final part. This is the C part uh, of this song uh, which will contain the verse, uh, a bridge part like the descending part and another bridge. Uh, so three different ideas which he plays. The verse uh, I already explained how to play it in the previous part. So after the so, uh, the, the main intro riff, he plays those chords. The and I explained already how to play it. So I'm not going to repeat myself. So I'm just going to go over it real quick. So he, he sings, oh, do you read? And then he goes, so it's that... I'm just gonna call it the D riff. So, uh, and then it goes to that F chord. Do you really? And then he does it again, that D riff. Uh, uh, and then he goes again to that F chord. You can hear him just going to explain what he's doing. Uh, he goes to the F chord and then. And then he plays a D campfire chords. So do you really? Mean? And then the last the last time in the verse he also plays do you really mean? What I say? And then the uh, Rock Goes to College 1979 version, he plays the school riff, which is the portion of the song uh, what I was trying to get to in the first place. So, uh, because the it's just that D riff again, you can hear it, uh, you can uh, hear it for yourself. I already explained that. So, but then the uh, after that F and that C, he does this riff. So, he, he bends up on the uh, 12th fret of the G string and then you play 10th fret of the E string of the E string going to 13th fret of the B string and then and then he does a, a, a hammer on pull off from uh, 10 to 13 on the B string and then uh, 12th fret G string 10th fret uh, B string and then pull off on uh, 12 to 10 on the G string and then bend bending up the 12th fret of the G string so uh, and after that that's the the verse 
And after that, he goes uh, descending. So he does. Uh, I'm going to play this descending part. This is the first bridge part. Uh, so the second musical idea, and it goes like this. And what I'm doing there is just playing that D, G, and B string. Just same picking pattern, but the first chord is an A minor chord. Just uh, barring across the fifth fret of the G, B, and E string, and then playing the seventh fret of the D string, and then. Then you switch to this chord. Uh, fifth fret of the D string, the fourth fret of the G string, and the third fret of the B string. So. Uh, just taking that shape and sliding it two frets down. And then you play an A minor seven chord. Uh, which is a second fret of the D and first fret of the B. And then... I know that's not what he plays, but it sounds good, so that's why I play it there. And it's a hammer-on pull-off on the uh, D string. And the second fret of the D string. So it's... And then he plays it again, so that's two times. Uh, well, you can hear the song, he plays it two times in a row. Uh, and then uh, the second bridge part comes with this G7 chord. And it's uh, uh, it's like this funky uh, uh, strumming pattern. So he does... And what I'm doing there is... Uh, so I'm doing, I'm doing down, up, down, and then I'm doing bass, 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 bass. So it's down, up, down, bass chord, bass chord, bass. So, and then playing the third fret of the G of the E string, and then the rest of the chord, bass, chord, bass, chord, bass. Going to a D minor seven chord, which we already saw. So, and then he does so down, up, down, bass chord, bass chord, bass. And then, so he does that uh, one time. So from G seven to uh, D minor seven, uh, and then he does it again. So. solo starts so the first time when he goes around he just goes to g7 and d minor 7 with that strumming pattern and then one time g7 and then he plays an a power chords when the look down, when the look down in your eye. and then the solo starts uh and after the solo it's just that descending bridge part for two times and this bridge part so i've given you all the necessary information which you need to know this was a really in-depth video on how to play Do You Read Me. Uh, I think it's going to be like a half an hour long. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've given you like all the in-depth details which you, uh, you need to know. So um, leave a like and subscribe for more Rory Gallagher videos, which I'll be doing in the future. I have a lot of uh, ideas that I'm going to post on this channel. So. Um, Thanks for watching. Goodbye.